Okay, you guys, it's a uh, Friday, so a couple days later, and I'm gonna work on getting the door panels out of this bad boy. Uh, then I can start looking at the glass and stuff, but probably do a time lapse. I'm gonna get in here and get the door panels off and, you know, armrests, all that stuff. So here we go. Okay, well, I tried to get some of this done and I didn't have a tool to get the window cranks and door cranks off, so I had to go get one. At your favorite Chinese auto part dealer, AKA AutoZone, Dorman, China. Hmm. Go figure, but gotta have that tool so I can get the door, uh, the window cranks door handles and all that stuff. There's a clip in there, so I'll film it in case nobody's ever messed with anything like this. Get out our Chinese tool. And most all of these cars, the clip clips on this way. And the way to take it off is to insert this this way. Now, this car, this one doesn't look like it has it. And on a lot of the other clips it does. I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's like a little uh, plastic reveal piece in there so this is how that went together like this okay and that's what the clip looks like so all this tool does is come in here like this and then push that clip out. And then you can take those off. Some cars I've been able to get that off. My dad owns an upholstery shop, so I've worked upholstery for a couple of years and I've, some cars you can get get that off, some cars you can't. Now on this, on this one here, there's this little plastic piece that I'm, I'll show you once I get it off here. In fact, let me see if I can show you down in here. So there's this little plastic piece. Right, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, you see that, how that came apart? So you gotta get this tool in between the door, this window crank and that plastic piece to get, to slide this down and get it out, so. Turn this, there we go. This is the plastic piece that I was talking about. The plastic piece goes like this. And it's just kind of hidden. And obviously you've got this spring. Some cars don't have this, this spring in there, some do. So now we can get the, you know, take the, take the screws out of here out of this armrest and I can get this off. Right. 
door because there was a gas. have it. You know, this, this panel board is so freaking old that and wet. This, this door's been wet. This panel's pretty warped. But the panel's off. My plan is probably the interior is probably going to be black in this car. Undecided if I'm going to do this the same color as the car. And then uh, carbon fiber door panel. A race car, street car-ish. I want it to be light, so I don't need all this fancy, fancy stuff. So probably uh, either probably body color, black powder coat, black powder coat, and then a just a flat uh, carbon fiber panel. All right, I want to show you guys something. So I just pulled this one off, and you've seen the spring and the and the other ones. This one springs behind the door panel, right there. Springs behind the door panel. So I need to ask my pops uh, if this is correct, or if the other way is correct. I believe this way is correct, that the spring goes behind the panel and make sure that there's no gap when the window crank is on here. I'll confirm and I'll let you guys know, just in case anybody's trying to follow along for. Uh, restoration purposes, but pretty sure that's the right way. All right, I got all this side off. This door handle really kicked my butt. The spring, first of all, the spring was on backwards. So, you know, the spring's got like a fatter area and it goes to skinny. The fatter area is supposed to go towards the door and the skinnier part goes here. Uh, problem is they had it backwards and I, I couldn't get to the clip and it had broke it had broke from who knows being on wrong or I don't know but it had broke and it was all bound up in there so it was very hard for me to get the door panel tool in there and get the clip off but I did get it now as you can see this is why stuff rusts I mean you can see all the the dirt in there and uh Look, you can see my hand down there. So the bottom of this door, that's the drain hole, but over more towards the, so the drain hole's somewhere over here. But if you look, look over here, like where this trim's supposed to go in, this door's pretty rusted on the bottom. Um, not as bad as the other side. I'll take you to the other side in a moment. But this is why stuff rusts. This dirt gets in here. And once water gets in there and gets wet and it stays wet, it just eats everything up. So this door is not so, so bad. Probably will be okay with this door. But this other door has a whole lot of rust. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Maybe try to find a door, which these doors are hard to find because it's a hard top. So I may have to get a door from something else and um, do some cutting and welding and patching. All right, so you look over here. This door actually doesn't have as much stuff in it as the other one. This one's got less stuff in it. However, uh, it's rusted through. 
Let's see. I don't know if you can see it, but see that hole rusted through right there. And then look at the corner because everything must have sat here. That's all rusted. That's rusted through. And see that big hole. Thankfully, it's where you'll like never see this. So if I get my hands on another door that may not be from a hard top, but I can cut all that stuff out, might be able to just weld that, some of that stuff in and then it can be body worked and um, that'll save me from getting a door because the inside of the door is actually not that bad. It's, um, it's pretty decent. So we'll see, only time will tell. Now I gotta get some of this mess cleaned up, but first, first I'm gonna go ahead and pull this uh, heater box and probably firewall pad out and maybe some of the engine or uh, the harness, wiring harness that's all in there that goes towards the engine bay. So that'll be next. And then uh, I'll probably pull the doors off, leave the glass in, and then I'll pull this glass out so that this thing's pretty much gutted. Um, I don't plan on using that um, steering wheel or none of that stuff. I think I might do like a Motion Raceworks steering column and then one of their one of their steering wheels. But we'll see. You know, uh, this stuff is extremely expensive to do. So. So you see this big hole here. So the air comes through the cow and then goes down and there's a hole like right here, big ass hole. And that's what feeds air into the heater. Now on the driver's side, you have this little box. You guys can see it. Uh, you see this box here with this door is open and that same outside air comes through there and blows out so I'm thinking you could probably take one of those modify it and put it over there now you won't have heat I don't really think I need heat in this car but that to give you some fresh air on Rocky Mountain Race Week. You also got these vent windows. I don't know, we'll see. If I don't use a box like this, then this hole that's underneath here will have to be shut or else when you're driving down the road, the air blowing in through the outside of the cowl is just gonna blow th down through here. And it's full of, it's so full of, debris so maybe on my days off i'll uh, wheel this thing outside and freaking run the hose and try to hose all that crap out of there what were you saying i'm looking for little d Well, I hope you have an LS in it.